Hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We are here at Padada RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. Today we're looking at a 2005 Georgie Boy Cruise Air XL 3890. This is a triple slide diesel pusher. It's got 350 CAD in it. Pretty cool coach. But let me give you the first four corners look, then we'll look at the compartments and we'll jump inside. Sorry about the sun glare. It's probably pretty bright. Here's the back passenger side. We'll check out all those compartments. The awning does go out eh, just a bit further, but I got to another RV right next to me. All right, as for your compartments, let's start up front for your generator. Cummins Onan Quiet Diesel 7500. Not on a tray, but he's pretty decently accessible. A little bit of paint fading going on on the top rail. It is a 16 year old coach, that does tend to happen. First up, tires 295, 75R, 22.5s. I want to say they're dated 2015. I saw on another tire, I don't see the date code on here, so we'll look at another one. And I'm gonna be a little bit closer to this coach in my video because of this other RV right next to it. So I'm sorry if you're not getting the best angles. Here are all your compartments. Look at this. So you got two completely open bays and then you do have one slide tray that will go both ways and it looks like it goes about 60, 70%. Next up, not a storage compartment. As you can see, looks like you got yourself a water tank right there. And then on this Samson, it does have a date code down there, 3115. Converter. Um, I can't see what size it is, but I can see the size of your propane tank, which is 50.6 gallons. And that is every compartment on the passenger side. Show you the sidewalls. See a little bit of clear coat exit up there. Now this coach on the passenger side did see a little bit of sun. You got some of the fiberglass check-in. It's not from water, it is just from the sun, but it is something I should point out. Another thing, all these compartment doors, super solid, super strong. They feel great to open. All right. And of course it is a rear radiator. You have a nice flip up kind of rear hood. 10,000 pound hitch down there with the seven pin. And of course the backup camera. See a little bit of paint scuffing on the rear door. Let me actually pull this down and show you. All right, so you can see some of that kind of clear coat paint and a little bit of scuff marks there. Now, before we uh, get over to the driver's side, let me jump up on the roof. Probably gonna be pretty glary, but I'll show you what's up there. All right, one AC for the bedroom, another AC for the front. You can see a satellite dish, local TV antenna, air horns, metal cover for the top of that awning. And that's about it. Rear cap is nice and cocked. I would assume the front one is the same. All right, meet you back down there. All right. So continuing on here, this rear compartment, really just an access point to get to that engine. 50 amp power service, it is a detachable cord not connected. Plus and minuses with that. Your battery compartment, looks like there's currently five batteries in there. Of course, tire, water heater, should be a 10 gallon, and then the 50 amp cord to connect. Your dump station outdoor shower and it does have a super hose area let's make sure this is a 10 gallon it is all right now all these compartments let me take a step back they are all under the slide so your your three big pass-throughs one with the tray and then one other small compartment up there so i'll bend down and show you everything other side of the uh, tray and then these two full passers you could add more trays in here if you want right behind that rear or the front tire is another small compartment 
And then generally you have one more in front of the tire, but here it's actually just hydraulic pump and more axe to see your generator exhaust. All right, let me get all these compartments shut. We'll jump inside. All right, two exterior steps that come out when you open the screen door. Screen door, regular door. That's your step cover. They put this up, there's nothing behind there, but it's kind of kind of cool. Right when you walk into your left, battery disconnect, entry lights, electric step, basic stuff. All right, get that first view. This is what you see, standing up front, right by that front TV. Let me go stand in the bathroom. All right, in the bathroom hallway, kitchen slide on the right, main galley slide on the left, you got one more slide in the bedroom. As you can see, <laughs> TV was upgraded. It is on a mount, so it does move left and right, comes out a little bit, so you can access all your cabinets up there. Now let's get this bad boy started. Over on the left, Allison, I think it's a 2000 or 2500 series transmission. Don't mind the beeping, we're low on air until it fills up. Like I said, backup camera, auto leveling jacks, they did upgrade your little CD deck and then air horn, emergency start, all that good stuff. The step cover is pretty cool. It's kind of slow, but it will just lift straight up and give you a nice solid area. So then that passenger will not just fall into the abyss if they if somebody does brake hard. Let's start this bad boy up. Bottom left there, 52,135 miles. Still beeping at me because of the air. I'm not sure if this backing was original on this dash. It looks good. I love the layout of a Georgie Boy dash. It's actually quite useful. Cup holders, a little bit of a storage down there. Nothing too crazy. Your seats do turn, of course. Your driver's seat is electric. Looks like an eight-way. You can angle your butt, your thigh. A little bit of wear starting to happen on the sides and then around your thigh area, but not too bad. They are flex steels. Passenger seat is in better condition. There is no a leg extension though. And then it is a manual kind of adjustment on it. All right, now in terms of compartments, you got one there, three there, two there, two there. Let me open them up a couple so you can see. Turn that AC off so you don't, it's not all you hear top compartment there you do have some wallpaper peeling in the majority of the compartments just from heat not from water or anything awning extension small compartment right of the tv very similar to that one which has your switch box and things like that in there and finally you got these two a little weight tag if you can read that 32,000 pounds gvwr all right that's the front let me shut these compartments and I'll show you all the slides. All right, your first driver's side slide goes from that corner to that corner right there in front of that cabinet. And you can see we got technically four overhead compartments. These two on the right are connected. These two on the left are connected. Below those, you do have a sleeper sofa. This looks like a pullout leather sleeper sofa. It is. And then a dinette four-seater standalone table and chairs and then to the left of that a little bit more storage and area to display all your whiskey and then a small compartment down here to help supplement some pantry storage all right, let's look at the other side all right your next slide is right behind this little task chair they have a little bit of wallpaper peel in there under that big old compartment. It's a smaller slide. I can actually fit it in one frame. It's your kitchen slide. The refrigerator is not included. Three drawers on the left, two in the middle, three also on the middle, and a little bit of uh, under sink storage there. Sponge drawer, and then overhead, you have a decent size kind of either pantry or plate storage. A small one there storage above the microwave and then finally a little bit of storage left of the microwave that is a convection microwave because there is no oven 
then your oven, a little slit in the corian, they must have dropped that. It should be a three burner gas stove top. And then your sink also has corian covers, two bay, left side nice and deep, right side also nice and deep. It does have an extension. And last but not least, for the kitchen, one thermostat for the front, fantastic fan, light covers, but your Dometic side-by-side -side refrigerator. This is an RV fridge, propane or electric. Does have an ice maker. And there you go. Now next up is your bathroom, which we'll get to in a second. Let me shut these compartments. So walking into the hallway of the bathroom, you do have like this little compartment, which is your breaker box. And then right above that, slide controls, level testers, generator, and water heater. 1,212 hours on that 7,500 Cummins owning diesel. Now it is a split bathroom. Toilet's on the right, shower is just to the left behind that glass door. And then of course, your vanity. solid sink. I wasn't sure if it was plastic or not. Storage under. Medicine cabinet. Oh, you gotta be tall to get those. Look at that corner storage. It's awesome. Now right behind us is it's a little tight when we back up here. Your shower. It's really nice. One piece fiberglass. Easy access to the water line. The optional clothes bar, very nice. And then your bathroom, your actual toilet's right behind this door. It's kind of hard to walk by if you are on the driver's side. Look at that mirror. All right. Toilet paper storage, window, fan up above. And then lots of storage here, mainly being your combo washer dryer unit. Good amount of storage and a washer dryer unit in there. Very nice. All right, make our way to the bedroom. Bedroom does have one final slide. It is for the bed. As you can see the size. Light controls another thermostat in here bit of some taping for that fiberglass wall. It is a queen bed. It looks like a residential size. Maybe that, that length. And there is some storage down below. And then, of course, your full wall closet with a little bit of cubby storage over there on the right and a few drawers. Did I fix that outlet? Other TV was upgraded and then some decent storage. Let's open a couple of these. Not the deepest kind of drawers, but you do have seven of them. Three of the top ones, four of these bottom ones. And then up above us, a little bit of storage in front of the bed. And then finally, it's gonna be kind of hard to get a good angle on here, but And it's dark, my gosh. Cedar lined, lots of hooks. You can see the width of it <laughs> at the top with the light. And that is your interior walkthrough of this 05 Georgie boy. If you've seen my videos, you know what's next. Let me put all the slides in, give you one last peek at this thing and all its glory in travel mode. Back in a second. And here we are, slides are in. As, as you can see, our kitchen slide, not super crazy, probably about 18 inches, but your driver's side slide, about three foot deep. Still have complete walkability through here, maybe a little side step through the dinette in the kitchen. Full access to the bathroom, washer dryer, you even still get to your mattress. You lose your compartment storages over there, and of course all the front ones, but you can still lay down and take a nap if need be. 
one other thing to point out this slide coming in on the kitchen has caused your laminate flooring to kind of bubble up here we're gonna lay it back down but something to point out all right let me show you the outside everything in and we'll let you guys go and here she is only one slide one slide on the left side here on your passenger side We got two in over here. There you go. 2005 Georgie Boy Cruise Air XL 3890. Three slides, 350 cat. Appreciate you guys viewing my video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. All the info on this coach will be on, there'll be a link you can click and see it on our website, plus all my contact info. Have a great day.